Welcome into an ArizonaSports.com special webcast. I'm Greg Esposito of ArizonaSports.com, joined by Chris Hamblin of Sports 620 KTAR. And the big news of the day is the Arizona Cardinals have gotten their man. Kevin Cobb is the new quarterback of the Cardinals as the Cardinals and Eagles agree on a deal sending Dominique rogers Camardi and a second-round pick to Philadelphia in exchange for Cobb. And then the Cardinals also agree to parameters on a contract extension with the quarterback. Five years, $63 million with $21 million guaranteed. Chris, what are your initial thoughts on the deal? You know, when I hear second-round pick and DRC going to the Eagles in exchange for Cobb, I immediately get a little bit hesitant. But when I hear five years, $63 million, with $21 million of it guaranteed, uh, I begin to get a little bit happy because I feel like the Cardinals got the better half of the deal. And let me explain. The $21 million guaranteed in this deal needs to be front-loaded in order for the Cardinals to pay less cap problems or have less cap problems at the back end of the deal if Cobb doesn't work out. So with only owing him $21 million in guaranteed dollars, you do a little signing bonus, you pay big money years one and year two, cap hell does not come in years three, four, and five if Cobb doesn't pan out. I, I agree with you. It, the price looks a little steep when you consider they're paying basically $5.7 million per career touchdown <laughs> that Kevin Cobb has. But really, you have to look at it as you've traded Dominique rogers Cromarty and a second-round pick for Kevin Cobb and Larry Fitzgerald. Because if Larry Fitzgerald signs a contract extension at any point between now and the end of the season, the Cobb deal has everything to do with it. And that's what I like about this deal. The Cardinals are aggressive, something we haven't seen them do in the past. They get the most talked about quarterback this offseason. They make the splash, and that's what I really like. No, it's a good deal for the Cardinals. They had to make it. You couldn't go into another season with Derek Anderson, John Skeltner, Max <laughs> Hall at quarterback. You could, He's, but you'd lose fans. Yeah, there's, well, there's no way that any sane football <laughs> coach, like Ken Wisner would not show up if that was the case again. He'd be like, I'm done with this. I'm going golfing. Cardinals made the deal that they had to make to become relevant in the NFC West. Now it's about putting the other pieces together around Kevin Cobb to make him successful this season. All right, Chris, thanks for your time. We'll be right back with Arizona Sports.com's Adam Green. Back here with ArizonaSports.com's Adam Green. Adam, the big news of the day, obviously, Kevin Cobb and Arizona Cardinal. You and I grew up fans of this team. What are your initial thoughts? At least finally have a quarterback, and it's finally over. Yes. You know, the last few weeks, even really the last few months, have been the Cardinals need to get someone better than Derek Anderson. And whether, whatever you think about Kevin Cobb as a quarterback, we know he's at least that. Yeah, definitely. And I was talking about this with Chris at the beginning. They made the big move, which is something we haven't seen the Cardinals do, and they finally have that quarterback of the future that they've lacked uh, for a majority of their time in the Valley. At least they think they do, but the important thing is to note that they, did, they identified their guy and they got him. They paid a lot to get him, but he's a Cardinal now, and if he's as good as Ken Wisner and the staff thinks he is, then the Cardinals will be set at that position for a while. Let's look forward. I want your opinion. Kevin Cobb this season, is he going to look like the trade was worth it? Uh, probably not. The lockout has meant it means less time to work with his receivers, less time to get in tune with the team in the playbook, meaning that Kevin Cobb might get to a bit of a slow start, but you want to see progression as the year goes on. By the time week 16, week 17 rolls around, you hope that they're in the playoff race and he's playing his best football. But it's not so much about this year for Kevin Cobb and evaluating this trade. It's going to be next year with a full offseason, a full season under his belt as a starter. If Kevin Cobb is not the real deal by next season, that could be in a coach wizard on in Arizona. Plus, you'll see who the uh, Eagles get to take with that second round pick. Yeah. One other thing, mark on your calendar, week 10, November 13th, Cardinals at Eagles. It's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be terrifying, too. If Kevin Cobb has a bad game and DRC picks off a pass or two, it's going to sting a little bit. It'll be interesting. So for Adam Green, I'm Greg Esposito. Thanks for joining us here on ArizonaSports.com. We'll talk to you next time.